factors are affecting the amount of heat energy present in a body. Let's talk about the factors which affects the amount of heat energy present in a body. Let's, uh, the first one is mass. Mass of the body affects the amount of heat energy present in that body. Number two, number two is temperature. And number three is specific heat capacity. These three are the factors which affects the amount of heat present in the body. Now, I want to talk about them one by one. Let's say we have two masses. One is less another is more. I mean to say one mass is less. Let's say only four molecules are there. Instead of taking millions of molecules, it will be better to have very less number of molecules to understand better. That's why I'm taking less number of molecules to explain it properly. Let's say it has 16 molecules. First has four, second has 16. Mass of second one is greater than first one. Now, what is heat energy? The sum of the kinetic energy of all the molecules of a body is heat energy contained in that body. Now, these molecules are vibrating. Molecules of every substance, whether solid, liquid or gas, they are vibrating, we know this. And if these molecules are vibrating in similar way, then each of the molecule, let's say each of the molecule contains one joule kinetic energy in both the cases, in both the bodies. In first case, there are four molecules. That's why some of the kinetic energy of all the molecule is four. But in second case, there are 16 molecules. That's why some of the kinetic energy of all the molecules will be 16 joule. Since the sum of the kinetic energy of all the molecules of the body is heat energy contained in that body, that's why heat energy contained in second one is greater than the first one. Thus, we can conclude that heat energy contained in a body depends upon its mass. More the mass, more the heat energy. And less the mass, less the heat energy. Okay, now let's go to second one. Let's say two bodies have same mass. I'm taking constant mass. Both of them have same mass. Then temperature of, let's say, second one is greater than first one. Temperature of second one is greater than first one means what? It means the molecules are vibrating faster in second one than first one. And it also means that the average or mean kinetic energy of the molecule of the second body is greater than first body because temperature means the mean or average kinetic energy of the molecules of the body. Let's say here average kinetic energy is one joule in each of the molecule. Here average kinetic energy in each of the molecule is two joule then its temperature is greater than the its temperature because rate of vibration of molecule is greater. Okay, there are four molecules. That's why the sum of the kinetic energy of all the molecules will be four joule. But in this case, each of them contains two joule kinetic energy. There are four molecules and total eight joule heat energy is contained in second one. Since both of them have equal mass, even after this, the second one contains more amount of heat energy than first one. This is because of temperature. If temperature of a substance or of a body is more then heat energy contained in that body will be more. If temperature of the body is less then heat energy contained in that body will be less. Okay this way we can we can conclude about the temperature. Now this is a little different. First we have to know that what is a specific heat capacity. A specific heat capacity means let's say we have one kilogram of a substance and uh, the amount of heat is mass is one kilogram is uh, the amount of heat required to increase or decrease the temperature of one kilogram of a substance through one degree Celsius 
is called a specific heat capacity of that substance. If this substance requires 1000 joule heat energy to increase its temperature by 1 degree Celsius, then its specific heat capacity will be 1000 joule per kg degree Celsius. This is the unit of specific heat capacity. If it requires 100 joule heat energy to increase its temperature by 1 degree Celsius, then its specific capacity will be 100 joule per kg degree Celsius. First, we have to understand this. After the understanding of specific heat capacity, now I want to talk about the uh, factor specific heat capacity which affects the amount of heat contained in a body. Let's say we have two bodies. Both of them have same mass and same temperature. Previous temperature was 10 degrees Celsius and both of them are heated to 100 degrees Celsius. The final temperature is let's say 100 degrees Celsius. Now both of them have 100 degrees Celsius temperature, same temperature and both of them have same mass, they, they, they have same number of molecules. Now, a specific heat capacity of first one is let's say 1000 joule per kg degree Celsius and second one is 100 joule per kg degree Celsius. It means only specific heat capacity is different. Mass is same, temperature is same let's say 100 degree Celsius and specific heat capacity of first one is more, second one is less. Now, which one contains more amount of heat energy? The first one contains more amount of heat energy because for 1 degree Celsius rise of temperature, it requires 1000 joule heat energy. 1000 joule heat energy is required to raise its temperature by 1 degree Celsius. If both of them were heated from 10 degree Celsius to 1000, uh, 100 uh, degree Celsius, then for each 1 degree Celsius rise of temperature, first one absorbs 1000 1, joule heat energy, but second one absorbs 100, only 100 joule heat energy to rise its temperature by 1 degree Celsius. It means to go to 100 degree Celsius temperature, first one absorbs huge amount of heat energy and reaches to 100 degree Celsius temperature, but second one absorbs less amount of heat energy and reaches to 100 degree Celsius. So we can declare that this first object, first substance con contains huge amount of heat energy in comparison with second one, but even after uh, being equal mass and even after having uh, the same temperature. So we can conclude that amount of heat contained in a body depends upon three factors. They are mass, temperature and specific heat capacity and all the factors affects the amount of heat positively. I mean to say more the mass, more the uh, heat energy contained in the body, more the temperature, more the heat energy contained in the body, more the specific heat capacity, more amount of heat energy will be contained in the body. Okay, this much for today.